Hey friends, here we are starting our Wednesday night live store, live tour of Faith and Giggles gift shop. I'm going to wait a few minutes so that we can get some people on board. But for those of you, hi Mary, for those of you who are looking, hi Linda. Thanks for my tea, Linda. <laughs> hi Jason. I have the right date, right? Can we all confirm that now <laughs> I have the right date this time? For those of you who watched us last week or on Saturday, hi Zoe. I had the wrong day and people were trying to tell me, hi dad, people were trying to tell me that I had the wrong day and the wrong date, but I um, didn't see any of those comments. Hi Leanne. All right, so Wednesday, May 13th. And of course, the reason I'm holding this up is not for those of you who are joining us live, but for those of you who might be joining us at another time. Hi, Judy. Yeah, <laughs> coffee in hand, a girl. Hi, Tammy. The reason I'm holding this is for people who are watching this at another time, maybe tomorrow or at a later date, and they think it's live, and they're talking to me and commenting and wondering why I did not spell tour wrong, Jason. <laughs> you did get me on that one. Did I? No, I did not. <laughs> hi, Sandy. <laughs> so yes, so those of you who, hi, Margie, who were watching last Saturday and I had the date wrong. It was supposed to be May 9th, not May 8th. <laughs> I think you're funny, Jason. Hi, Sandy. Hi, everybody. Hi, Steve. Thanks everybody for joining us. Steve, you're not supposed to be laughing at that. No. Where's Michelle? I need Michelle. Hi, Steve. Deacon Steve and the others. There's two Steves on right now. Hi, Deb. So anyways, I've got the date right. If you're watching this, hey, Jeff, if it's not May 13th on Wednesday, then you're not watching live. And if you're talking to me and commenting, I'm not going to respond because it's not live anymore. So <laughs> you're only going to be able to interact live if you're watching this on Wednesday, May 13th. So hi, Alyssa. And for those of you, again, who are just joining us and who didn't see Saturday's show, um, I had the wrong sign up there. So that was, that was really awkward. I didn't even, and everybody was tell, were telling me, wrong date, and I, and I didn't see it until afterwards. So that was crazy. Hi, Carolyn. All right, we're getting some people on board. All right, and I started, I think I started on time. That's pretty unusual. <laughs> Jason's not here. Nobody's here to push me. I just did it. And let me tell you, we've been running around like crazy these last couple days, getting things ready, getting the store cleaned up. You cannot believe the sanitizing. And I mean, we had been sanitizing all of the high touch places already, but we haven't been doing any dusting. So that happened today. Hi, Barbara. Uh, last couple days, a lot of dusting, vacuuming organizing and the reason for all that hi Becky was because once we locked the doors and no Steve no <laughs> no I'm fine um it's and by the way the code word is tea we're not using wine we're using tea <laughs> so anyways um yeah we've kind of transformed in the beginning we transformed the the store into kind of a warehousey type thing with or like a shipping warehouse with things coming and going and bags paid unpaid pickup delivery shipment all these different categories so the store was kind of a mess because of all that it was our it was our organized mess but uh, that's all cleaned up because everybody knows i think or if you don't know um yes sandy my tea right hi ann uh, tomorrow we will be opening that door for you to come in so that's exciting news hi krista if you haven't already seen that update that's happening tomorrow the governor has given the okay for retail stores like ours like ours to open with a five person minimum in the store so we're going to be abiding by that and uh, we're not sure how this is all going to look so a lot of people are asking a lot of people are calling a lot of conversations about how how is this going to look here and we're not sure so as jason and i talked about hi shelly as jason and i talked about yesterday in the window when we i think it was yesterday right yeah 
or whatever it was, Tuesday? No, yeah, yesterday. Um, we're gonna just take it day by day and we're gonna see if we need to make uh, adjustments, um, we will make them. So we're gonna start out. I think we're gonna, we're gonna, now Jason doesn't know this, but I've had some conversations. I'm not sure, we might just keep the front door open and not the back door um, to try to kind of, I don't wanna say control the mobs. <laughs> Everybody's gonna be breaking down the door to come into Faith and Giggles tomorrow. But but just kind of keep track so that we can kind of see who's coming and going. I don't know, but but if you're coming, maybe you can try to come in the front door for now. And Jason, if you're out there and he's strongly disagreeing, feel free to, hi Sally, hi, feel free to voice your opinion because we've had lots of conversations, Jason and I and staff. Hi Donna, Zoe and Carrie, however, there's been so much to talk about and so many details to try and figure out and so many things to think about to try and make sure that people are all staying safe. Hi, Cindy, and efficient. And we're gonna continue with our online um, business that we've been doing so much of, thanks to our great, fabulous community out there. I was gonna throw, blow you a kiss. Mwah! Mwah! That's what I was gonna do and I didn't quite get there. <laughs> Just don't do that, Wendy. Um, yeah, Deb, thank you. I think so. I know dad, my dad, parking in the back. There is parking in the back, but we're going to, I think we'll try and just keep the front door open for tomorrow. And <laughs> Steve, why do you have to point that out, Deacon Steve, that I said that? <laughs> People were already forgetting. <laughs> okay, so if the mobs get crazy, Deacon Steve is going to be our bouncer. He already has confirmed that. If we need him, he's on speed dial. So Steve, just make sure you stay close to your phone because if it gets crazy in here, we are calling you anyways. But so, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. Try and bring people in the front door. When you walk in, if you see there's a, quite a few people in here, you know, kind of just take a visual. If there's five, six, you know, well, we're going to try and keep it to five. <laughs> and if there's more than that, then, then maybe you can just wait. And what we're going to try and do is keep people moving. We're going to be very conscientious of who is standing at the front door. And hi, Mariah. And looking forward to see you, seeing you too, Shelly. Thank you so much. Um, if you are at the front door, we can keep track a little bit better. We have a better visual than the back door. And if there's people out there and we have too many people inside, then we can kind of keep the traffic moving out. We can ask people politely to, you know, get out. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. And this is the stuff that's gonna be learn as we go sort of thing. Cause we're not really sure how it's gonna all look. And Judy says, I think that way you can keep count. Otherwise, you could have two come in the back with three to four coming in the front. And that's kind of how we feel too. Judy, that's what we were thinking. Hi, Connie. So that's kind of what we were thinking is that it'll be a little bit easier to take, keep track. If, if, if we don't feel like we need to do that down the road, then... Um, oh, okay. Alyssa says, what is our idea about having kids in the store? We're okay with kids. The, the, ki the children's room... Somebody's at the door. Hi, oh, we're closed. I'm sorry, tomorrow, tomorrow, we're gonna be open, yep. <laughs> okay, I did not plan that. But there have been a lot of people coming to the door and pulling, and I feel bad that we haven't been able to let, let them in, but tomorrow, we're excited. So Alyssa says, what about kids? I love that idea. Hi, Koa, thanks for joining us. The children, the kids' room is going to be closed. Well, for, first of all, my photo booth is in there, and that's the main reason, because I can't, I have to take pictures and stuff like that to put on Facebook because that's how we've been doing most of our business. So that's going to be most convenient. And I think it's just smart to not have the kids' room open at this point. I think pretty much everybody can understand that. Hi, Karen, for joining us. Sharon? I know, Sharon, I've had that idea come up. So that is a great, well, we're going to talk about that in a second as well. Thanks for that. So Alyssa, we're good with kids. Um, I don't think kids are any more germy than adults than some adults, so we have no issues with that. I mean, if you're going to bring a bunch of kids in, they're going to be running all over and not shopping. Let's just use common sense. I mean, obviously, if you're coming in, you got to get something and you're going to get out, that's fine. If you're going to be browsing for an hour and you got three kids, that means three adults can't come in. Maybe for now we could ask you to hurry that along a little bit. How do I say that politely? There really is no polite way. So I think I did. I hope I answered that, Alyssa. I think everybody knows who knows us. We're very kid friendly. 
And so, yeah, but you can come in with your kids. If you're coming in, you're looking to get something, you were, you know, do your thing. And then, and then, and then out, I guess we're going to probably not, we're going to not encourage a lot of just hanging out. I think most of you know, we do a lot of hanging out and talking here. <laughs> um, yeah, Steve, don't forget kids count as a person. Right. So that's a great point. And that's why if you bring kids in, remember they're a person so that we can't, and we're not supposed to be touching our faces. <laughs> uh, so yeah, if you're bringing in your kids, keep be conscientious. That means it's a person. We can't let another person in, in, their, in their place. So like I said, bring them in, get your stuff, you know, move along. And that's fabulous until we can kind of figure this all out. And then what was the other one? The other one, somebody had an idea and um, the, the idea of <laughs> Deacon Steve says, tie the kids up outside. He's a deacon and he's saying that. That's not right. <laughs> Maybe we need a little crowd, like a bike rack with leashes, right? Little locks so nobody can take them. They can be strapped, a harness. It'll be safe and comfortable. <laughs> I like that idea, Steve. So... Somebody suggested, a couple of people now have suggested, even through phone calls or I just saw here about having five numbers at the door when you come in, you grab a number, when you're done shopping, you put the number back in, that way we know. So I'm not gonna probably have that ready for tomorrow <laughs> because I'm still trying to get stuff in the store ready, but I like that idea a lot. I worry that people don't read signs very much and, and I'm not ripping on people. I, you know, I'm the same way. You, you just, you're on a mission. You don't read, slow down and read stuff. So I'm afraid people aren't going to always abide by that. So maybe they're going to come in and we're going to have people in anyways, and they're not going to look and grab one. But so, um, yeah, Lizzie, leave kids with bouncer Steve. <laughs> okay, Steve, you're coming in tomorrow and you're going to be kid zone. All right. We're just wear a shirt that says kid zone and you stand outside and you can entertain them. Don't let them in the street. Keep them against, you know, on the bench. We've got a bench in the front of the store. We've got books in the little free library book box. You can read them a story, Deacon Steve. So yeah, there you go. <laughs> I, like, I love that. Artie and Nancy say, hi guys. Hi, Artie and Nancy. So yes. Um, yeah, and, it's, and, and Judy says less touching the better. And I think that goes across the board for everybody. So this reminds me of a story. Oh, Jason's, I know what Jason's thinking right now. When we open, I'm just going to say it really fast. I just can't help it because this just makes me want to say this. Yeah, take the kids. Yes, Steve, you can take the kids to Scoop DeVille. That's another great idea, Sandy. So come with the shirt that says Kid Zone, bright orange, and money. And you're going to take them. <laughs> ah, no thunderstorms tomorrow. <laughs> Hi, Jean. So, um... Oh, where was I? Oh boy. Oh, touching. Okay. So yeah, one of the things when we first opened back in 2011, I'll never forget this. I'm sorry. I'll, quick story. Long story short, Steve, right? Long story short, we were about literally about to open the door. Well, actually I was taking the kids to the, to school because they went to school down here. Peace. Hi, Kate. And hi, Jean. And um, on the way, I'm like, I was freaking out the first day we're going to open. So I'm taking the kids to school. I'm, I'm just nervous. Is anybody going to come in the store? Why would anybody come in? They don't even know who we are. Why would they stop in? And I was so nervous. And that was number one. Re nervous was like, was anybody going to come? Number two was, oh my gosh, if they do come, they're going to touch my stuff. <laughs> they're going to be touching it and looking at it. <laughs> so that I, I'm way past that now, but... That just made me think of that when I didn't remember who said that, but, um, okay. So, so here's what we're going to do. So yeah, try not to, I hate to say don't touch things because let's face it, you want to touch stuff, but, but you know what I'm taking out of the things that are like, um, unnecessary to like our guest book. I'm taking that out. We don't have that out and credit cards. When you, if you pay with a credit card, you don't have to sign it. You know, you can just swipe your card. If you're worried about putting that card back in your pocket or in your wallet, you know, we've got wipes on the counter that you can take care of that or whatever. I really think that we're going to, we're, this happens so fast. If you're not comfortable yet with it, the things we have implemented, please feel free to stay home and keep shopping with us. If you need things, we can still continue being your personal shopper. We're still going to be posting things online. You're going to see stuff in our shopping tour tonight. 
We can deliver free within 30 minutes radius of Faith and Giggles. Uh, we can ship it. So we're still going to service those of you who just don't want to come in yet. Maybe we don't have all of the safety practices in place quite yet to make you comfortable. That's okay. You know, we're, we're okay with that. You don't have to come out. Certainly, if you have any symptoms, don't come. And certainly any of us are not going to be coming to work. And if you watched our live in the window yesterday, as soon as I said this, that any of us on staff, if any of us are feeling it or presenting any symptoms, we're gonna stay home. Like the entire staff started coughing or sneezing. <laughs> but I can assure you that nobody has been coughing or sneezing <laughs> this entire time. So Caitlin is asking, will we be opening Monday for in-store shopping? Caitlin, we're opening tomorrow. You missed it because you just got on board. Thanks for asking. We're opening tomorrow, Thursday. Uh, hi, Dana. So um, five people maximum in the store. We're gonna do the best we can if you're not comfortable. Um, masks are not uh, mandatory because the governor says the mask, that, that, that is not a mandatory thing yet. But um, if you want, please wear them. Everybody, a lot of people do have them. Or, or if you're just not comfortable, just hold off. And that's fine. You're not gonna offend us. Keep messaging us on Facebook like you've been doing, calling us at 262-397-8689. I should have put that up above in the title and I'll do that. I'll do that when I'm done, if I remember. And feel free to call us. We can do a personal shopping for you. The, my anxiety from this whole thing has come from making sure that we have you covered ver, you know, before we were just doing in-person and then we were just doing online. You know, we're doing phone calls and messages. Now we're doing both. So uh, if, if the phone rings and you don't get an answer, please be patient. We're going to do our best. Like that's my anxiety that our customer service isn't going to be as top notch as, as we want it to be. Because we want to make sure we don't miss a call. We want to make sure we don't miss a message. And we don't, we don't want to miss, we don't want to let too many people in the store. And we don't want Deacon Steve, you know, <laughs> hauling your kids off to play zone without you knowing about it because that wouldn't be good actually even though we talk about it now I'm just kidding he wouldn't do that but but the fact of the matter is we can't be as um, uh, mindful if we've got a million different things going so 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 here's here it is we're gonna do our best day one is tomorrow Thursday day one doors unlocked at 10 o'clock until five o'clock if we get to five o'clock and it was a holy nightmare, okay, obviously we're gonna make some adjustments and that's how we're gonna take it day by day. All right, so that's that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, I, um, we are gonna put little tape marks at the counter six feet. We're gonna ask people to stay six feet apart, social distancing, we're gonna put some tape marks. I haven't gotten that done yet today, but that is the one thing also we're gonna do. We've got, um, hand sanitizer on the counter. We encourage people to use if they want to use after they've done things. We wipe the counter down and the pens and the computer screen and the stapler, and I mean, or computer keyboard and the phones. I mean, I've, I wipe that stuff down a couple times a day myself. And um, the doors we wipe down regularly, we'll continue to do that. But on your way out, there's hand sanitizer. At the counter, there's hand sanitizer. So anything else you need that we haven't um, offered, please let us know and give us, let you know, suggest it give us let us know so i've missed people are you issuing issuing numbers to us tonight no kate i'm not i know thanks deb i hope we got this hi Jeannie. we're going to do our best I, we're not going to start with the number system tomorrow we just don't have it organized yet and this was part of my fear of opening too quick but people want us to open so don't come if you're not comfortable with with it we'll we'll update you again i think we'll be fine and we just all come keep our five people, keep our social distancing. And um, I think if everybody respects what we've been doing already and common, use common sense, I, I feel like we're gonna be just fine. All right, but, but if not, then, then we're gonna have to get strict, all right? We're gonna have to stand at the door like a guard. <laughs> but we'll, we'll, we'll um, deal with that when we come to it. So thank you, Shelly, I appreciate that. All right, so here we go, all right. Are we ready? We've got everybody on board. And so, um, welcome. Obviously, you're here at Faith and Giggles Gift Shop. We're, uh, we're doing a live store tour. It is now 10 to 7. Now, I said this was going to go to 7.30, but 
I almost never make it in an hour, but I'm gonna do my best to kind of, I'm gonna scooch along a little bit quicker. I say that every time. Why do I say that? I say it because I, I really do mean it. We don't have a ton of new stuff, but we have restocked on things that people have, no, have been excited about. <laughs> Judy, the fun stuff, yay. And hi, Candy. I, we look forward to seeing you here, seeing people in person. So, um, yeah, where do we, um, I, I'm gonna start by, okay, I'm gonna start by saying this. We did not get in the new, whir any more whirly gigs, the big ones we've been posting, Jason's laughing at me. We, are, we have not gotten in the big whirly gigs yet. They're coming in, they're ordered. Um, we've, they, you know, we're waiting. We also are waiting for more of the um, mason jar hydroponics grow kits. So more of those are coming in. We do have a few of them still, but a lot of that growing things that we had that everybody was loving and we love so much, um, we're out of some of them and, and they're coming in. I mean, all of that stuff is ordered. We're waiting for puzzles. Still no puzzles. We have been waiting. We're on, we're on, they're all on back order. So, um, oh, oh, hours. I wanna get this all done. Otherwise, once I start, you know that I'm never gonna remember to say this stuff. Um, okay, real quick. So we're gonna be open this week, tomorrow 10 to five, Friday 10 to five, Saturday 10 to five, okay? Then we're gonna be closed on Sunday. Starting Monday, we're gonna be back to our normal hours. And hi, Anita. Thank you, the whirly gig, she loved it. Good, I know everybody loves them. I have one myself, I love it. And it's got that light up globe that lights up solar powered at night. Every time I come home at night, it's, it's on, I love it. So Sunday, this Sunday we are closed, but then starting Monday we'll, back, we'll be back to our seven days a week, which is what we've always done. And um, the only change in our regular hours starting on Monday is going to be Friday night. We're gonna close at six. So I hope everybody's okay with that. So we're gonna close at six instead of eight. Usually Friday nights we're open till eight, but until the restaurants are open back up for business is kind of our timeline. We're gonna just stay till six because really a lot of the business we have from six to eight comes from people in town for, for eating and sitting in the restaurants. Otherwise ten, people tend to pick up their food and they're, they're out of here you know, between five and seven or whatever. So that's just what we're gonna do for now. Okay, yeah, seven days a week. So starting Monday. And then I will just tell you, Memorial Weekend, we are going to be closed Sunday and Monday. Who's got the dog? <laughs> Chickens don't do anything for me, but dogs, I'm going to look. <laughs> so, yes, Zoe, tomorrow, did I say 9? Okay, Zoe, thank you. Tomorrow we're opening at 10. Did I say 9 o'clock? Yikes. Tomorrow we're opening at 10 o'clock. 10 to 5. All right, moving on. So I've kind of redone, I'm going to just... Okay, now I gotta do this. And I'm gonna bring you over here a little bit. What do I have to, first of all, look at, look at this. Well, I gotta take you off of this. I'm gonna have to take you off of my little tripod here. Hi, Linda. All right, and then now don't hit finish, Wendy, because I've done that before. I gotta hit this. And then, have you seen, look at this, my new swamp tree. <laughs> Wait until you see this in person, you guys. It's so cute. Look at this. Oh, this picture is not doing it justice. But anyways, here's some of the hanging garden decor that we still have. Some of these things. Oh, and then we've got these little bells. So I'm going to just start with this area, obviously. <laughs> Hi, Donna. Hi, Randall. Thank you. I appreciate that. Now, this is solar powered. Let me turn it on. And when you... Okay, do you see how the lights went on? I covered up the solar power as if it's dark. See how cool that is? I love these. Thanks, Cheryl. Thanks, you love my swamp tree? <laughs> I do too, actually. The Bee Mobile, we've got one of those left. And look what we got back in stock. Remember these cute little bird feeders? Okay, can you see there's holes in it? Oops, for drainage. It's got the cute little bird and the crystal on the bottom. <laughs> yeah, Kate, I would definitely look if you walked a chicken across the, uh, past the store, no doubt, no doubt. <laughs> the bird feeder is $28. All of these cute little butterfly 
um, hanging things are for 16, four. see this is what we have to do too. We didn't get everything priced. Oh my gosh, you guys. So if you come in and we don't have some things priced, don't, don't hate us. We're working on it. We'll get caught up. Zoe, if you're watching, I know you are. We got, we got this. I forgot to price those. <laughs> Lucy was going to do all that, and I forgot to tell her about that one. The leaf, how much is that leaf hanging thing? Okay, Alyssa, thank you for asking. I love this. We've sold one of them already. This is the last one we have left. We had two. It's $59. It's a little more pricey, but look how tall it is. It's probably... Um, from top to bottom, it's over, it's probably 30 inches. Yeah, those are really cute. The B Mobile is $24. These orb, these orb hanging crystal, some have a hummingbird, some have a butterfly. Those are $32. So we've got these cute, this has been one of those things that <laughs> Kathleen, not free. <laughs> So look at this sweet trellis. I just love this. It's a celestial. Okay. Why you can't, oh, you can't see the, I got to change this. Um, all right. I got to, so that you can see the numbers, right? Can you see that now? Yes, you can. Okay. So $59 for this really neat tre trellis. Tiffany says, how much for the relaxed solar thingy? Excellent. I will show you that again. So that trellis is about four feet tall. And then remember our globes? We've got more, but I've just kind of rearranged things in the store now for everybody coming in. Hi, Debbie. $30 for these. We've got green and pink, and then the fun little $8 butter or um, dragonflies. We still have these cuties. I like those. All right, we're going to... Um, what was it I'm looking for? The, oh, yeah, the price of these relax or, or not orbs. Relaxed solar powered hanging decor. $42 those are. They're a little more pricey, but they're really cute. And I'll do that again. So I just am covering that. And then the lights are all around the outside, you can see. Okay. So up in the front here, next to the water cooler, we've got well, my notes, which I should be holding on to. I always forget them. And um, yeah. As you can see, we've got the hand sanitizer. So before you head out the door, you can sanitize. Um, some fun stuff here. These cute little, hey, Nate. Hi, Kathy. These cute little angels. I just love them. Let's see what the price is on these. $25. I think they're all different, actually. $25? Maybe not. Okay, so those are $25. Those are really cute. And this has been something that we've sold a few of. This also is a little bird feeder. It's got the holes so that it drains. Hi, Karen. Look at this little cutie. I love this guy. On the bottom, there's actually, it's actually like a key, like to hide your keys. I don't know. Is that really so secretive? <laughs> $34. It's just, I think it's just cute garden decor to have sitting in your garden. Hi, Claudia. Of course, the one you love is more pricey, Tiffany. I know, isn't that true? I'm like that too. Look at this little guy is still here. Okay, so we're going to move past that. And look at, I redid my front entrance display today. I don't know if you can see it very well in this shot. But some of the things, oh, here's something exciting that we've restocked on. For those of you out there who have coveted our frog, okay, how do you say this? Jar frog, oh boy. Flower frog jar toppers. I think I said it right that time. Flower frog jar toppers. If you saw that picture, we sold a ton of these. We couldn't keep them in stock. And can you get a good picture? So basic, or a good look at it. So, right, you just set this over a mason jar and put your little flowers in there so it keeps them separated and standing up nice. Look how cute this is. Hi, Denise. And all the different colors. These are $16. We could not keep these in stock before Mother's Day. So we just got another shipment in yesterday, I think it was. So if you're interested, I think we filled all of our special orders. So these are the ones we have available. 
now. And they're so wonderful. We just love these. All handmade in town here. Or, yep. And um, look at this cute little Save the Bees. Little trinket dish. I love that guy. But look at here. Hello. <laughs> I think we've had these guys before, but they just came back in. Oh, I don't know if we've had the turtle, actually. But look how cute these guys are. Little garden things, $29. I love having stuff like this, $28. And then this is one of those things that does not get as much attention as it should. So this should go into a pot. And then like a little trellis thing, background of a like a planter pot. And yeah, look how cute this is. These are... Um, oh, <laughs> right, that one's free because it's broken now. No, it's not. $35. All right, that one's $35. Oh, yeah, here's one of these things. Hi, Betsy. This is also one of these things. I should just leave it so I don't break that. Uh, another one of these, you can see, like, you stick in a big pot. This is going to be for a big pot. Or you can put it in the garden. Hi, you guys. Okay. <laughs> Crazy nuts. <laughs> Tomorrow we're open. Yeah. <laughs> See you guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's great. They know that I can't help but stop and say hello to the dogs. All right. So <laughs> too much tea. I haven't. Look at. Okay. I have not had too much tea just so you guys know. <laughs> but there were dogs outside. What was I to do? I had to stop. <laughs> Linda, did you see them? Can you believe that? <laughs> that was awesome. I love having friends stop like that with their dogs. I love having dogs and their friends stop. <laughs> I'm too close. Okay. Hi, Stephanie. Okay, I'm going to switch this around again. Okay, you guys, I'm going to move on. So another one of those. Oh, yeah, our little mushrooms, too. Very cute. If you've seen me posting our little handmade... Cardinals, made by the same fabulous, lovely woman that makes the frog toppers, the flower frog jar toppers. I have to say it the right way. <laughs> We've got our little stones here. We've got all sorts of little knick-knacky things, $3. Leanne, see, you understand. You guys understand. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Ignore the dogs? No, I can't ignore the dogs. These cute butterflies, this, we've had these. This is what we have left. These four, $12, they are $12. We have four of them left. They're so cute. Little pot, they go in a little, um, you know, your planter. Garden stakes, another thing to put in your garden stakes. <laughs> garden stakes to put in your planters is what I'm trying to say. I need to do one of those deep breaths like I have to do every once in a while. Look at these cute bee planters. Um, there's two sizes. They're $34 and $28, but they're really heavy, you guys. Is this concrete? I think it must be because it's really, really heavy. All right, angels. This is my, I just put her here. I love, love, love. Oh, Linda, how much is the are the bee planters? Yeah, they're um, so the $34 or yeah, this one is $34. And that's probably, I don't know if it's quite eight inches across, maybe seven diameter. And this is about six inch. Oh, well, yeah, maybe this is eight inch then diameter. I don't, I should have had the tape measure in my pocket. I was going to do that. So $34 for the bigger one and $28 for the smaller one. Look at these guys back here. Hello. These humming, or um, why do I keep calling them hummingbirds? They're dragonflies, Wendy. $34. That's that rock art and sea glass art. We have that in all different things. Hi, this is a new guy. This is this guy is so happy. $28. What a sweetheart. I love that guy. Okay. Oh, yeah. So also, if you see these when you come in, these these are things where you got to stand and read all the different sayings. But look how cute these are. All these little porcelain hanging decor. There's friends, there's inspiration, 
there's hearts, there's wedding, there's baby. There's all different messages, $7 and $9. Look how sweet those are. All different things, guardian angels. I love this one. You are gorgeous, don't ever forget it. This would be a great one for graduation. Take pride in how far you have come and how far you can go. So some real cute ones. Do what makes your heart smile. The luck in a world where you can be anything, be yourself. And friends, this brings us down to my butterfly puddler. Why is nobody buying my butterfly? <laughs> Honestly, these, look how cute these are. There's little sparkles in here. They're $28. It's kind of like a stepping stone, about that size. But you put it in your garden and, you know, you're watering all the time anyways. You keep a little water in there. The butterflies and bees, those kind of things, they land in there. That's how they get their little, that's how they get their water real shallow. I'm going to, I keep saying I'm going to take one home and I just, I haven't done anything in my garden much. I've nothing like, you know, not the, no planting or anything like that. Once I start doing that, that's when I'm going to start bringing stuff home. Oh, we've also got a lot of, um, I should move this. We've got a lot of new, some new, some just restocked. Oh, I'm getting attacked by the bee mobile above my head. Um, Stepping stones. These are so cool. I'm going to try and get a little bit closer. This is new to us this year. Can you see how that stone is raised a little bit on there? I don't know if you can see that. So it's like 3D. So those stones stand out of the stone. Does that make sense? I think these are $28. And they've also got, you can hang them or you can put them in the garden. So they can be wall decor, actually. There's some more little guys, little cuties. Oh boy, look at these guys here. <laughs> I think we have one of those at home. So here's some, so here's some more of those um, stepping stones. Oh, Judy, um, love the price of, of the stepping stones. I think that if that's what you wanted, $28, $28 for those. These here are 24. That's a bless our nest. Oh, Anita. Is that a pig on the bottom? Yes, look at this guy with boots on. This guy's got boots and a flower in his mouth. And he's $26. And our little turtle friends are $28. You're welcome. All right, this is something new. Well, it's not. We got these in right before the lock your door orders came and they're called Art Hearts. So we didn't really get a chance to show these much. And, and for some reason, I have not showed these. They're kind of that one of those things that are so cool, but hasn't gotten the attention it deserves. So what they are, are these little, um, you can see how they are fit in my hand about this size. And it's a little trinket dish. They're $15 and there's all, and it's just, okay, so it's a little trinket dish. And there's all different kinds. And here is the selection. So you can see, so it makes a really nice gift for somebody who you just find it hard to buy something for. $15 gift. There's love. There's faith. You are my sunshine. Family. I should have showed this one for Mother's Day. I never showed that one. Judy says, can you go back to the nest stone so I can screenshot it? Sure. Um, this one, I think. All right, Judy, are you ready? Here you go. If this is the right one, I hope. <laughs> Hi, Mark. Thanks for joining. I hope you guys are doing good. And Sherry, we've been so busy. We have not really talked with anybody outside of work stuff. There's also a sister's one. Okay, so moving on. I told you guys about the hydroponic grow kits. If you have not seen these before, these have been a huge, huge seller for us. They're $22. And all of what you see in this picture is inside of there. And we have, right now in stock, we have parsley, mint, and sage 
However, we have lots of others, including pansies and zinnias, and it's meant to pretty much grow on your windowsill or something like that. Hi, Mark. Hi to Sherry, too. Miss you guys. So, you guys, we're getting in a ton more of these jars soon. Jason, if you're watching, <laughs> Jason's going to hate me because I've asked him probably no less than five times in the last two days. One of those jars coming in? <laughs> He doesn't know, <laughs> I don't think anyways. These are part of this line. Holly Quinn says, hi, hi Holly, thanks Mark. Miss you guys. These, um, the healing aloe, so you grow it from seed, you guys. We put these together over the weekend. They are very easy to put together. And hi Jennifer, they're also $22 and part of the hydroponic line. Did you see this? One of Oprah's favorite things. Hi, Carla. Happy Wednesday. Jason, <laughs> Jason says next week we're getting that shipment in. Well, Jason, what day? <laughs> okay, I digress. These have been cuties. This is what we have left in inventory of these. And basically, these are the little seed pots. You just, the seeds are in there. You just start watering them, you know, little peat pots you get them going on the windowsill and then you pop them in the ground when it warms up those are eight bucks and now these have been fun if you watched hi tiffany you oh good i'm glad she loved it it's different isn't it it's just a different gift that we ha haven't seen around before and the price point is great denise you want to see the three pigs closer you betcha i'm going to show this right here real quick and then we have a pig on this side that I will show you because I think we have them in a couple spots. Okay, so this, what you're looking at right here are called seed pops, you guys. These are six bucks. And there's, what it is, is there's different themes. I think there's six of them. This is called the butterfly seed pod pop. So you plant it in the ground like this. Of course, you take the wrapper off. You plant it in the ground. All the seeds are in there, and they're like in a hard, like peat sort of mixture. But it's hard, like a. And you get it in the ground. You start watering it. But then look, the the planter stake sticks up. So it's like a marker, a built-in marker, and tells you what's in it. This is a wildflower blend. The back tells you what kind of wildflowers are in there. There's a super greens. That's Jason's favorite. <laughs> There's Mama Mia. We've been joking that Jason is is um, purposely just throwing these in everybody's bag just so that they, he gets them out of the store because there's there's like spinach and all the good stuff in it. And he is not a big fan of vegetables. So anyway, stir fry. Stir fry is interesting. Stir fry has, um, what's in stir fry? Oh, darn it. Oh, garlic chives, choy, and basil. So like stuff that you would use to make a stir fry, it's not gonna have everything. It's sure, certainly not gonna have your chicken. <laughs> Connie, no, we did not cover the stuffed animals yet, but I'm getting there because we're. I've got the dogs. Or do I have them up here? I think I do have one of them. We'll get to that. There's also, look at you guys, bumblebee pizza. So that's got tomato and things like that. So anyways, that's a lot of fun. It's great for kids, it's fun for adults. I see that, Jason. You're so naughty. And then these are some more of those um, peat grow pots. You know, you start the plants inside. It's got all the soil. Everything is in there that you need, the seeds. You water it. And when it warms up enough, you just put it in the ground. So we've got watermelon and cherry tomato. This is what we have left right now. And a lot of people wanted sunflower seeds. So that's the one that's coming in, the gigantic sunflower seed. That's going to be coming in. That's all part of this order. Okay. Um, Denise, you wanted to see the, look at these cute pigs. Oh, hi guys. Look at how sweet they are. So try and back up. So the cost of this is $36. They're cuties. Some other fun stuff. Some plaques, the bird's nest fountain. All right, and then, yeah, let's go. I don't know if anybody wants to see purses. I'm just going to do a quickie. I'm just going to do fast through here, you guys. You want to see that we're going to be getting more purses in eventually. We just haven't we haven't put that order together, but we've got some in here. Nobody's been shopping purses all that much. 
I love this sun. I always forget to go up with this camera. Denise, sold, do you want the pigs? Okay. <laughs> All right, Denise, I'm taking it off of the shelf. I'm gonna set it, look what I'm doing. I'm gonna set it over here and then I'm gonna grab my notes. And after I'm all done, I'm gonna be like, why did I set this pig here? So Denise, you should probably send me a message on, per, you know, on Facebook to remind me, okay? <laughs> we haven't made it very far. We're still in the front of the store. This whole section is the bees stuff. We've got these little cute bee hand towels and the, look at the little scrubby in here. The little beehive where you put a scrubby. I think these are adorable. A little tea holder for my tea bags. <laughs> I don't think my bottle, I mean, my tea will fit in there. Um, the salt and pepper shakers and a little bag, a tote, plaques, all sorts of cute stuff. I showed these the last time, or one time. These are the ones that they light up. So there's, well, you don't see it, but there's um, a battery pack. It takes three AA batteries, and it's got lights in there, and you string them down, and then you can put a bottle of wine in there. And... Mark, you what six dollar stick? Oh, the six dollar steed things, one of each flavor. Okay, message me, Mark. Message me. I am not going to remember that probably. I'm going to try really hard. Or text. You could text us. You could text me. Text me. Okay. Anyway, so yeah, so those wine boxes have always been a hi, Kim, my good friend Kitty. Oh my gosh, yay! You made it, and we're still live. Yay! All right, guys, we're moving on over here. Look at these little bud vases. Oh, I had flowers in the one, but they were dead. So I took them out. I was going to replace them, and I never did. Look at, look at the, um, oh, Shelly, the bee pin? I think so. Did you send us a message? I feel like we did. Jason, if you're watching, do you have Shelly's bee pin? You might want to send me a reminder. Otherwise, I'll review all these comments when I'm done and make sure... But these are little bud vases, and they're magnetic, you guys, for your refrigerator. And then it's got the little bud vase in there. Look at that. And here's all your little sayings. They're all $10. Very cute. This back here is a hook, a little bee hook. It's about 16 inches long, wide. <laughs> Kim, late as ever. Well, that's how we roll. We're always late. Holly Quinn local author and artist extraordinaire. We have her wine glasses here, $12 hand-painted wine glasses. It's just some other cute stuff. Here's the other pig, Denise. I knew there was another one. Same, it's the same one, it's just another one. Um, so here's those, some more of those. Um, oh my gosh, I'm drawing a blank. What are they, um, stepping stones. <laughs> so the hope, faith, welcome, believe, grow and dream. We've got one of these really cute totes too. But these here are all price-wise $28. And look, they also have pretty much all of these stepping stones have a hole in the back or a hook or something where you can hang them. That's just how they make them, most all of them. Those are really nice. I mean, look at how cute they are. And they're a normal size of a stepping stone. They're probably... I don't know, 13 inches wide, something like that. 12 inches, 13 inches. All right. Well, I always have to show my little fox friend. I just think he's so cute. I did already, didn't I? Okay, never mind. <laughs> Some more little wine glasses. Little, I've shown these before. Okay, these two, we still have some of these little vases. But look at they're two-sided. So it says just because on one side and you are love or you are kind. This one's you are brave and just because. Hi Holly, you're on. Nice to see you virtually. <laughs> just because, and that's all this one says. It's a bigger one. So all these little vases are so cute. This one's $24, the big one. Oh, so Shelly, if you don't see Jason's comment, he's commenting from home. He says he held one of each of the B pins for you. So these littler vases are 14, and I think one is, yeah, 14. Okay. All right. Oh, Connie, if you're watching, I forgot to show you. Look it. Oh, 
So we had these before Easter and then we ran out and we couldn't get them in. We just got them back in. Look at how cute these guys are, little golden retriever dogs, mama and her puppy. Oh, I can't get close enough. Those are $32, $33. It's $33 for little mama and her puppy. Look at these cute little coasters. It's a set of four. It's cork and metal, and it comes in a cute little container like this. And they're $18 for the set. Comes in a cute little container. All right, moving on. Here's something else we got back in. This was a highly sought after item were these giving bears. I know some of you got giving bears. And Jason, one is on hold for Becky. Who, what, a pin or a giving bear? I don't know. Okay, so look at what they say. Sometimes you can feel so small in a great big world. Sometimes you might feel like a giant who can climb any beanstalk. However you are feeling, I want you to know how important you are where, whenever you need a little comfort, a little safe, a little brave. Just whisper in my ear and hold me tight. I'll be here for you. So that's the giving bear. I don't know if you can see how big it is. Um, I'm trying to, to do a scale, but um, it's about 18 inches high. I don't know, from tip of the toe to the top of his ears. But let me tell you, these are so soft, you guys. It's just a great little gift that people were giving, especially if you've got somebody who's lonely, nervous, anxiety, depression. It's a great little hugger. Um, yeah, Holly, right? They make a great gift. They're, oh, well, wait, Holly, you had the really big one. You and Mark got that huge giving bear. This is a smaller version. Same, same softness, same softness, but um, a little bit smaller. Okay, I'm looking at my list to see what else I need to show you. I'm gonna start going this way. Hang on, what time is it? Wow, I'm still in the front of the store and it's almost 25 after seven, okay. All right, Mark, I saw your text just come through. <laughs> All right, the tea towels and hang, those towels that you hang on the hook, you know, on your drawer handles, and we've got these kitchen boas, which have always been a great seller. Zoe loves them. Oh, oh, the giving bear Zoe, right? Hi, Amber. But look at all the fun sayings on these. Yes, I'd love a refill. Any friend of wine is a friend of mine. We'll cook for wine. Okay, we really do have more things besides wine <laughs> themed. This is just a real pretty one. Oh, I like this one. Grandma bakes magic and sprinkles it with love. So you can see what you do with these. You wear it around your neck and you can use it as a towel to dry your hands or grabbing stuff out of the, you know, holding things out of the oven or whatever. And you just got it wrapped right around your neck. It's washable. It's a nice little gift for somebody who's got everything. They're $22, so it's a great price point too. And all these little towels are so cute. We've also got these little spoons, heaping teaspoon, and they've got messages of love and share and all sorts of little cute, all these are just nice little gifty things. Have you ever seen these? So these are these trivets, two-in-one trivets. You can see how it starts out looking like top left there, okay. Then you can spread it open so that it can be a bigger trivet. So if you look at this, it looks like this, but it's got this plastic on it, holding it. But otherwise, with all the, see the cord? You could extend this to make it a larger, longer trivet. So it's extendable, but then you can hang it up. Farm fresh and a spoonful of cheer. We've got all sorts of cute little spoon rests. I just redid this area. Do you notice there's no Christmas greens in the back of this <laughs> cabinet anymore? <laughs> I spent a lot of time last night redoing this. All these really nice mugs, $15. This whole line has been really strong. Do you guys like these kitchen cloths, these um, 
what do they call them? Um, oh, shoot. What's the name of these? The Swedish washcloths where they, you wash them and then it all gets real soft. You know, you, you, you go to get it wet to wash your dishes. It gets real soft. And then you let it dry and it gets stiff again like this. These are $7, but these little eco-friendly kitchen cloths, super absorbent, reusable, durable, biodegradable. They've been so cute. We've got all different little designs in these. It's all little kitchen stuff. Oops. Okay. Whoop. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. We're good. Didn't break. Oh, okay. I'm just going to leave it. How much is the spoonful of cheer trivet? $24 those are. Thanks for asking, Carol. Check this one out. Baking is my superpower. Hey, Carol, your superpower is baking is baking because that banana bread was incredible. Um, I didn't let too many, oh, I gave everybody an opportunity to have a piece, but you know what? You snooze, you lose. So you know who got most of it. You guys, I've showed these little teacups before. Look how sweet these are. Each of the, and look at, it's got all the birds. Hummingbird, blue jay, cardinal chickadee these are so cute and then there's there's these appetizer dishes with the spoon there's cardinals i think there's just a cardinal on that one and there was oh yeah here there's a butterfly one as well and then more of those little swedish cloths linda thank you yes i love them i've been using them too i love them more of these little appetizer plates, they're $16. So this old line is really neat. So pretty, I have lots of different pieces from this line. Zoe says it was delicious too. I didn't, she did have an opportunity to have some, but then I ate most of it. Did you see this, you guys? Now you can't see it really good. This little fairy is solar powered. This is gonna be really bright in a dark garden. Look how that already shines. I mean, I have all the lights on in the store here right now and it still is pretty bright. Look, I love these. I think these are super cute. Gotta turn that battery off. Mm -hmm. oh. All right. Oh yeah, what else? We've got these cute little, oh, I love this one. This is more of that sea glass decor. Some more plaques. This is cute too, little spoon and tea bag tray. There's little, whoops, $15. So all sorts of little kitcheny stuff here. This is a nice corner to be in because look at, I've got guardian angels galore here. <laughs> you just come up here in this front corner and you'll be all good. We got St. Michael and this beauty up here. Lots of protection going on in this corner. <laughs> All right, we still have some more of those you and me blankets that we had showed before Mother's Day. There's mom and me and you and me, but this makes such a nice gift for somebody who needs to show some compassion, maybe just, I mean, we're past Mother's Day, but a new mom, um, Anything. I don't know. There's just lots of reasons I can imagine getting, especially you and me. And, and look at this sweet little message. I'm not going to read it to you because you can read it. <laughs> so those are really, those are $58, but you guys, oh, they're so soft. They're 50 by 60. The inside is so soft. The outside is so soft. I always forget to go up. So look at what we got in. Look at this lab picture we've had this one in before um i'm trying to see the price 129 it's about three it's at least 36 inches tall and 26 maybe inches wide look at how pretty that is oh my gosh i just love that all the labs they look like they just jumped out of the water and started drying off a little bit i love that one Really cool wooden frame. Hi, Dave. All right, well, we're right over here in the, in the well, oh, first of all, we've got, you know, the books, we've got journals. We've got note cards, 
These are such a sweet line of note cards. Full open tomorrow. Yeah, Mark, full open tomorrow. Zoe, thank you. Great baby shower gift. That is a great baby shower gift. Good call. Yeah, tomorrow, Mark. Well, full five people maximum. We can only have five people in the store. So if you come in, you got to just kind of be mindful of who's here. And we're going to try and monitor that and let people know how many we've got in. And they may have, you may have to wait. This is our local author section right here, with the, the exception of the Bob Ross coloring book, which is really a cute coloring book, by the way. But we've got lots of wonderful local authors. Um, Mark and Holly, look what we're out of. Of our three book series here, we're out of A Crafter Knits a Clue, right where that space is, is supposed to be that book. And we could use a few more others. Happy little cloud, Holly, right, Bob Ross? Carol Redders is on board. I saw her, and look at what we've got her book here. Hardcover or soft cover, the day I got thrown away. Lots of great, these are our souvenir towels. A day in Hartford, enjoy a round of golf. Exploring, shopping, ice cream treats, dining at the coffee house, and touring auto museum. All right, this, this area is usually where I've got all of our garden steaks, but we're out of them right now, but they're coming in, so I'm going to leave this here. So don't, if you come in tomorrow and you're like, why does she have a big gap there? It's because we're getting things in soon. Jason, when are they coming in? <laughs> When's our garden steaks coming in? Oh, our elephant family still here. Oh my goodness, these guys are seven bucks. Look how tiny they are. They're about, I don't know, three inches. But then these succulents, no, they're not real. Those are 12. And then we've got the bigger elephants. And then we've got the water fountain, which is 89. 89, <laughs> Jason. <laughs> Next week, Deb, you got it. <laughs> Next week. Just be patient, Wendy. <laughs> if you didn't know, we've got Country Home Creations gourmet mixes. Lots of those we've restocked on. I don't know. I probably am going too fast here. So, um, yeah, Sandy's, um, Holly, if you're on and you want to update us on what your next books are, or what you're, I should say, what you're working on. I know you're working on stuff right now. I don't know if you can reveal. So if you can't, that's fine. But if you want to reveal anything, or at the very least, Holly Quinn, you should maybe um, tag your, your Facebook page so people can go check out and learn more about author Holly Quinn's three book series, which the first book, well, the series, well, it was inspired from us here at Faith and Giggles, our shop. Right, right Holly? I mean, you, you don't, Okay, if you haven't read book one or book two, well, it, I'm just going to say this. Book three, look at what it, it's winter, all right? The front of the store, I wish you could see here. Look, okay, I'm going to show you this. Whose store does that look like? Does that look familiar? Imagine that being a yellow canopy. Yes, it looks like Faith and Giggles because it was supposed to look like Faith and Giggles a little bit. So, yes, tell us, Holly. She's writing a new series. Can you tell us anything about it? We would love to hear more about it. But, guys, there's a situation in our window display in this book, and I'm not even going to say anything more about that. That's all I'm going to say because I don't know how much I'm supposed to say. <laughs> um, but, yeah, we've got lots of – here's a different view – Lots of books, gifty books. So if you, you know, there's graduation and things coming up, all sorts of things. We've got lots of gifty books, friendships. Oh, price. Okay, Judy, I'm sorry. Go a little slower so you can screenshot. Oh, boy. Okay. All right, hold on. Judy, you need prices on the dip mixes. $6. I can send you separate pictures, too, of the, of the dips if you don't, if you haven't screenshotted them all. Jason says, no veggies, better with chips. <laughs> Come on, Jason. 
Um, maybe French onion goes better with, but we've got horseradish and bacon. That goes great with carrot sticks and things like that, right? And we've got, I don't think I showed this. We've got this farmhouse ranch mix. That's great with vegetables. You can't just do potato chips with everything. We've got some Italian bread dipping mixes. Somebody said something about the bacon cheeseburger, dilly dip. All right, I'll have to do a post. You know what, you guys, I did do a post actually on dips. So if you want a little more, like of all the ones, I do have a post down probably a week or two of all the different dips that we have. Here's some magnets, lots of, this is a nice line of inspirational magnets. Um, six dollars I don't know three by four inch this is a local photographer who did these look at these we've got the auto museum and we've got the bridge over there by mill pond these are all magnets we've got holy hill oops sorry about that they're five dollars all right I don't have I like to go through all the tchotchke, but I just, I got to keep rolling here. Of course, our ginger snaps line. Oh, I didn't see. Zoe, did you put that frog there? <laughs> the big guy. He's a cutie. I didn't even notice him there. Our interchangeable ginger snaps jewelry line, all the different pieces. You, I did a lot of posting on this before Mother's Day. You purchase, you purchase the piece, the necklace, the bracelet, and then you purchase the snaps separately. So the, all the pieces are individually priced and sold separately. And then we've got lots and lots of snaps. We gift box it for you. I mean, that's drawer one, <laughs> drawer two, <laughs> and drawer three. So you can see that we have lots and lots of ginger snaps and themes animals, sports, <laughs> Alyssa thinks, hearts and crosses and we got dog mom and family. Just, Judy, we just had a sale on all of the ginger snaps. Yeah, we're done with the sale now. The ginger snaps were on sale before East, uh, before Mother's Day, but they're still really well, they're still really cheap. Six fifty for a snap. I think we have the cheapest price of anybody. We really have never, we did raise the price just once on the ginger snaps because we had to. They kept going up, 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 and we never did raise them. And finally we had to raise them a little bit. But anyways, there's lots of options there. I've done a lot of posting on ginger snaps. So if you're interested in that, definitely go back a few days and look at some of those posts. Okay. All righty. I'm going to just show you here. We did restock on our gifts for the journey. So if you uh, like our Bath and Body products, like so many people do, lotions, soaps, and bath bombs, we have just restocked on that too. Thanks, Holly. You're posting your link. Yay. So check out for a great three-book series, great read. Little mysteries, oh, they're great. And they will keep you wondering to the very end who done it. And they're really, with a lot of bases, a lot of it based in, well, how do you say that, Holly? It's based on Hartsford. Well, it's, the town is Hartsford. So while the names are, and people have been changed, it doesn't identify any particular people, you'll notice there's a coffee shop and there's a yarn shop. So it resembles Hartford. That was her inspiration. It's just a fun, fun, great little cozy mystery series. Okay, so gifts for the journey. Hi, Gary. These are those gift packages. This one's called the Prayerful Package, $35. And it comes with the selection of soaps, lotion, candle, and a journal. We've got the energy package, which comes, this is a great one. This is $45 because look at, besides the soap and lotion, it's got this, oh my gosh, dark chocolate and coffee. 
This all supports the Franciscan peacemakers. They serve the Franciscan peacemakers. I am on the board of directors of, and they serve women who have been trafficked, sexually exploited, or traf sex trafficked in Milwaukee area and beyond, really. And but they've got a residency program and street ministry, and now a gift shop and. That's all in Milwaukee, and this is all made by the staff and by the women they serve, and all of the money goes back to them. So you can purchase it from us or at franciscanpeacemakers.com. Either way, it doesn't matter as long as you do it and support them. It's a fantastic cause. I wish you guys could smell this. So you see there's soaps. This is all lemon, $35, and then you also get this lemon ginger drink. So the whole theme is when life gives you lemons, and this is 35 Oh my gosh, if you could smell that one, that's my favorite for the smell. And then there's the, hi Deb Holton. Nice to see you, who said that about the lotions? Holly, yes, I know, I love the lotions, I love all of it. Lavender package, there's a candle. Um, the bath bombs and the tea, there's tea in here, calming tea, and then the lavender lotion. So that's all $35. But then you can also buy things just a la carte, or we have these lovely collection sets for 20 bucks. And you have, oh here, here's a better picture. There's a lotion, a soap, bath bombs, and then, and then a um, soap dish thing, handmade soap dish. That's all 20 bucks. Lotion, soap, soap dish, and bath bombs. Okay, moving on. There's so much trinkety stuff, but I'm going to keep going. It is a wonderful cause, Jennifer. Thank you. Hi, Elizabeth. We're going to be opening tomorrow. Woohoo! Tomorrow. Five people only allowed in the store at one time. All right, before I go further, I'm just going to grab a drink of my tea here. <laughs> All right. So, you guys, check this out. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, for those of you who were trying to buy the um, doormats, and the, we sold a ton of these, by the way, for, for Mother's Day and Easter, everything. This is a, one of our top selling lines. It has been since we got it in the store. And the mats are $15. We got them back in. So some of you were trying to get them, and we were out of them right before Mother's Day. We just got them back in. So hopefully we've gotten a hold of everybody who has them on order. If not, we'll get a hold of you. <laughs> Jason. All right. And if you don't know what you do with this, you take one of the interchangeable doormat inserts and well, of course you take all the packaging off of it <laughs> and then it just literally lays in here and that's it. You don't have to, you don't have to snap it in or anything. It looks lumpy right now because of all the packaging on it. So that's why, but that's it. And the inserts are mostly all $9, with the exception of a few. I have been posting. So if you want to know all the different designs we have, you can go to our Facebook page from a few days ago as well. Carol, your mother-in-law loves her doormat and inserts. Good. I know. It's a great gift. You can buy, you can buy a doormat for $15 and an insert for $9. And there you go. You've got a nice gift for under, you know, for like $25. Um, oh, Emmy, love you too. Nice to see you virtually. Thanks for joining us. We're opening tomorrow. I hope you guys are doing good there. Lori, nice to see you as well. So here's some of the styles we have, you guys. There's a lot more. But like I said, I, I have been posting these. Go back a few days and you'll see all the different styles we have available. And we got more in, but it's more of the same. So we've restocked on ones that we ran out of. Deb, yeah, it's a great gift to keep giving. After you've given them one or two, then you can keep, you know, give them for the birthdays, give them for Christmas, there's holidays, there's, there's all the different, there's birthday even, there's lake, animal, we've got a new bunch of new <laughs> Elizabeth, you getting items ready for the beach? Oh, Elizabeth, he's been crabby. He's ready for the beach. <laughs> These are some new paw, um, pet ones. So anyways, lots of stuff there. If you haven't been in Faith and Giggles before, just you should know that we have a plethora of lovely, lovely greeting cards. 
for all occasions, wedding, anniversary, showers, birthdays, graduations and other special occasions and baptisms and baby, family birthday. We've got a lot of, um, we've got sympathy and, and friendship and encouragement and comfort and seriously ill, lots of things. Joe, flamingos, your wife wants a flamingo? There's two flamingo styles. There's this one. I should be saying this. If you guys want something and you don't want to come into the store, which, by the way, if I haven't said it enough, <laughs> we're opening tomorrow where you can come in, five-person maximum. But if you are, but we're still doing, I'm going to turn you around for a second, but we're still doing curbside pickup. We're doing, I'm amongst the cards here. I feel like I'm in like this cave. <laughs> We're doing curbside pickup still. We're doing um, deliveries, free deliveries within 30 minute radius of Faith and Giggles and shipping. So if you see something you like and you don't know like how we do those kind of orders, you have to message us on Facebook, uh, send us a private message and then, and tell us what you want. You can screenshot and circle or just tell us and we can get a hold of you or call, have, call us during business hours at 262-397. 8689. Okay, Lucy will be here. Yay. Thanks, Joe. Appreciate that. So yeah, if you if you see things you like, we are more than happy to help you get get it. And with, even if you don't want to come in and you still want it, we will get it to you. So just call us. We will shop, be your personal shopper. We will take private messages. But I ask, don't do your ordering in the comment section on posts if possible. And that's only because it's harder for me to find those. You guys, I have like close to nine hours of screen time a day I am averaging because I am on the phone all the time searching for messages, uh, receiving messages, replying to messages, sending pictures, posting, posting for other businesses on our downtown page. So I'm on the phone a lot. So it really helps me. If you just send a direct message, then we can get it. We know we're going to get it. If you um, are commenting in different posts it's harder for us to keep track. It just doesn't show up right. Sometimes it doesn't show up in order. So, so you can comment, keep commenting that you like stuff or want stuff, but then send us a reminder in a private message. We would so appreciate that. Thank you so much. It really just helps us to be more efficient at this crazy time. So Joe, I mean, our one is so beautiful. I love sunflowers too. I know you do too. Okay, I'm gonna move to I guess I'm gonna kind of pan through here just slowly so you can get an idea. The trick is slowly. Now I'm not gonna go down because this is messy down. Okay, I will show you. This is still kind of messy. I haven't picked this area out. <laughs> it's not gonna be perfect tomorrow. I'm gonna, we've done, we've all worked really hard to try and get things in place and picked up and organized, but things are not gonna be perfect. And I am think pretty sure everybody's okay with that. I keep saying I'm going to do a better job at posting jewelry outside of ginger snaps, and I have not done it so far. I've been, I've been really slack on that because really for no reason. I just keep meaning to do it, and I haven't had time. So I really promise I'm going to do a better job at posting some of the cool stuff that we have. We have so many nice pieces of jewelry, crosses, men's crosses, women's. These are fun too. So I'll do, I'll try and do a much better job at, at doing this. I'm hoping now that we're open, people can come in. I think most people want to, oh yeah, Connie, I'm coming right here. Are there any dogs? Here we go. Look at, boom. <laughs> Connie, these are little guys. These are like, um, I would say about, I don't know, seven, eight inches. This is what we have left right now because we've sold a lot of these during the Easter season, but we've got is this a Maltese? A little chocolate lab, black lab, chihuahua. This is a little doodle, I think. Poodle doodle. What do you call them? Labradoodle. <laughs> We've got a corgi. He's a cutie. These guys are $12. There's a little kitty there too. That's what we have left in those. This is a bulldog. But otherwise we have, you know, this is the pet section. So we've got a lot of plaques and things. But Connie, I know you wanted to see the dogs. You saw the lab. I don't know if it was a yellow lab or you're welcome. I don't know if there was a yellow lab or golden retriever that I showed in the beginning. It looks like that's all we have. Oh, 
Yeah, I'm just trying to look around. Looks like that's all we have in stuffed animal dogs right now. This is Pet Memorial. So we have a lot of pet gifts and Pet Memorial and group pet cards, sympathy cards for pets. Okay, and baby. Well, here's our puzzles we have left. Not much in the puzzles. We've got we've got a manger scene, a couple of manger scenes. This is this cat one that we've got left. Okay, Connie, see you tomorrow. Thanks. And the Noah's Ark one. And there's just a few of the crossword puzzles left. Whoops. But we've really sold a lot of that stuff. And really, are, like I said, we're waiting. These are all these little cute little rattle blankets. Oh, that one doesn't. <laughs> oh, my God. That one doesn't rattle. Okay. The other. Okay. The other ones do. <laughs> But ch check this out. Oh my gosh, it's a little tutu. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, for a little baby. I think it's 18, six to 18 months. Stretchy. And look at these little onesies. Grandma was here. I'm kind of a big deal. These are $26, so adorable. Y'all need Jesus. Okay, I already did that one. Whoop, oh shoot, oh, there's one more I think. Now, oops, new to the herd, <laughs> new to the herd. Oh, good Amber. Oh, the adoption book, well that's cool. Okay, hopefully I got that on there. Here's some more of the rattle blankets. And this has been a really big seller for us. It's a hand puppet. Okay, you put your hand there, and then it's and then it's got a book that is velcroed on, so the book actually comes off. It's attached right now, but then it's just a little book, and you can take the book. So it's different themes. There's the pig, and then there's the the bear. Um, there's a cow, a McDonald's. There's another teddy bear. So. Oh, this is the monkeys, five little monkeys, $22. It's a great price point and such a cute little gift these have been. Um, I lost my sheets someplace. I'm in the baby section right now. Thanks, Judy. Thank you so much. Oh, Mark, you guys are, you guys are camping out. <laughs> well, you'll have the first spot because there's nobody out there yet. <laughs> Nobody has camped out yet in front of Faith and Giggles, so you're good. You'll get this first spot. <laughs> All right, everybody. I should probably start thinking about wrapping it up. We've got lots of baby gifts for baptisms. We've got crosses and picture frames and really nice plaques and jewelry. Really nice night lights and musical things and glitter globes. I love this one. It's cute. Oh, Amber, thank you. These Stuffed animals, really nice. Love this one, look at this. You smile and my heart melts. Oops. Softy blankets. These are musicals here too. Or not musical, this one praise, I think. So it sings Jesus Loves Me. There's blue and pink. And then this one here, Praise. Now I lay me down to sleep. And I got them both going at the same time. <laughs> so soft. All sorts of cute little stuff. You got to come in. You got to come in and see it all. There's lots of banks, things for godparents, godmothers and godfathers, <clears throat> baby books and devotionals and we're restocked also on the tickle monster check it out if you don't know what the tickle monster is this is a great gift for a little one for a, not necessarily baby baby but that as you're heading into that toddler stage it's got the little tickle monster gloves that you can wear and then the book it's a story of course Everything has to do with, you know, tickling the person that you're reading to. Hence, 
the Tickle Monster gloves. These kits are, I think they're $35, but this is this has been a seller of ours. We've carried these since we opened in 2011. Hi, Kim. Kim, we're wrapping it up soon, but I'm glad you joined us. And then these are really good too. Look at you guys. These have, thanks, Barbara. I appreciate that. These have all sorts of st story starter cards. I think there's, I don't know how many there are. But you read the story, and then it says, and then, and then the idea is that the kid, that you and the child, you know, finish the story, and you get creative and come up with stuff. 20 story starters, and there's two volumes. There's volume one and volume two, so that you can, if you use all the first ones, you can go to volume two. Those are $26. And we've got activity books for kids, write and wipe, or whatever you call those things. And There's so much. There's so much to look at. You have to come visit so that you can see it all. Lots of rattles. There's stuff like these activity bibs and mom wears it and then the baby has stuff to play with. That's okay, Kim. You have to go back and look at it. I love this one. Little butterfly blankies. Everything is so soft. These are really sweet too. It's got this really sweet, sweet, precious sayings. Here, here's a better picture of the mommy and me activity scarf. So there's different styles, but you get the idea. It's got squeakers and bells and whistles and pockets and things. And you can, when you're holding baby and trying to do things that keeps them occupied. Look at these guys. This is one of those things that, I don't know, we have so much stuff in the store and it doesn't seem to get noticed, but this is like Farm, this is a farm, what do you call it? Oh gosh, Wendy, I can't even talk. Like a farmer's stand, baby rattles, right? There's fruits and vegetables. Look at, they're all rattles. Bananas, avocados, that's an avocado, strawberry, watermelon. Look at their faces. Oh, these are so cute. So, oh, here's the strawberry here. Those are all really fun. Lots of baby stuff. We sell tons and tons of baby stuff. So, little cows and lions and elephants and unicorns and little, these cute little dolls. My first dolly. Connie, if you're still on, here's a dog, but this is, this one says, hello, big brother. It's got like this patch on the bottom. If you've got somebody who's going to be a big brother, look at it. This is a great farmer's market. Jason, I couldn't think of the word farmer's market. Okay, it's time to get going soon. <laughs> so anyways, these cute dogs are great if you've got somebody who's going to be a big brother. We are out of the big sister, however, so I'm sorry. But look at these little guys, too. Mama orangutan says, "Here's look at the saying. How sweet is this? It doesn't matter if you are big or small, short or tall, high or low, fast or slow. What really matters is the size of your heart. Mama's telling her little baby monkey. That is so cute. I love that one. All sorts of little fun stuff. All right, then we've got the wedding section. I'm not gonna go through everything because I think we need to wrap it up. I feel like, I feel like I've, I told you 7.30, now it's almost eight o'clock. So thanks, Jason. A lot of family. We have a lot of family. These are so cute. I love these rock art. A lot of family, a lot of wedding. You know, if you can come in, come in, and we'll show you everything in person. But if you need us to send more pictures of things, we're happy to do it. You're not going to see everything in this video tonight. But I am so happy that people have supported us all along. Jason and I and staff are happy to send you pictures of whatever you need sent of whatever area you're looking for. If you just don't want to come in the store yet, you just don't feel comfortable, that's okay. We've got you. We are happy to continue doing the online thing. We'll keep posting on Facebook. We will keep delivering free within 30 minutes and shipping and doing whatever we have to do to keep things rolling. And right now, I'm going to slowly, so you don't get dizzy, I'm going to work myself back over here because I have notes. I want to make sure that 
I didn't forget anything on the wrap up here. All right, let's see. I'm gonna switch you around again. I'm so glad that we didn't lose anybody. Like that we are. Um, you know, we've gotten knocked off the knocked off the internet a couple times. This not had no technical difficulties tonight. That is fabulous. So just wanting to make sure that I got everything covered. Oh, you know what? Because I wasn't looking at my notes. As I do, I just do that and then I forget stuff. Teacher gifts. I did make. I did do a post of teacher gifts. Um, probably now, when did I do that? Whoopsies. A few days ago, I think. It, no, I think it's actually been longer than that. I did a post of teacher gifts. And nurse and first responders. All right, I'm going to take you over there real quick. Hold on. We do have a whole section of that kind of thing. We have readers too, by the way. <laughs> did you know we carried Fontanini nativity sets? So in case you're, you know, just thinking ahead, we carry Fontanini here. Some people don't know that. And lots of devotions. That's what this area back here is. Jesus Calling and different Bibles and devotions and study, study Bibles and um, what am I trying to say? Um, journal... <laughs> Um, devotional journals. That's the word I'm trying to find. So all sorts of things here in this section. And we've got, I really did, I'll just show you. We've got the memorial section. This is all memorial back here. Really nice things. Keychains. This is a lot of the trinkety things back here. Bookmarks and stones, little angels and things of that nature. This is stuff that you, little message cards. You really need to come and look through it all when you have time. It's lots of stuff to look at here. Some really nice pictures here. I'm sorry, this looks like it's crooked. I apologize for this bad camera work. But we do have graduation gifts specific and teachers and we have nurse things and firefighters and veterans even and police officers, so we have a lot of that kind of stuff too. Yeah, all right, so that's, now I'm gonna switch you back around again, if I can. Bye, Charlene, or Carlene, thank you, sorry. Um, thanks for joining us. Hi, Michelle Rosniak. You're just getting on, but we're just saying goodbye, but you can rewatch it, or whatever, or just stop in, because we're opening tomorrow, which is awesome. Five people in the store at a time. I really just wanted to make sure that people knew we're opening at 10 tomorrow. Five people in the store. We're gonna do our best to um, keep everybody safe by following you know, pro protocol, the social distancing, six feet apart. And we're gonna just remember to tell you that we're gonna reevaluate along the way, right? So. If, if things aren't going right and, and people aren't following rules <laughs> and we get too many people in here, then we'll have to figure that step out next. We'll have to have numbers or things of that nature. We'll, we'll keep trying to figure that all out. So stay with us, um, you know, be patient, and, and we'll all just get through this. I got to tell you real quick, you guys, um, Saturday, if you've been following our Saturday Night Live in the window display, we're gonna be doing that. We're gonna be giving away $130 worth of gift cards if you join us this Saturday, 7.15 p.m., Facebook Live. Jason and I will be in the window and we're gonna have a little contest. You have to be engaged live. You can't do it after the fact. You have to be doing it, you have to be engaged live. Only live answers to our questions will be eligible to win the gift cards. So we're gonna be splitting them up into different increments and there will be $130. That is a very generous donation by one of our fabulous customers who um, offered for us to do that. She bought the gift cards and gave them back to us for us to offer them as gifts for our, our great customers. So that's so awesome. I, we can't wait for that. And, and hey, we're going to have Jason back in the window again. And he's not going to get away so quick like he did last week. So thanks, everybody. If you have any questions, give us a call, 262-397-8689. Thanks for joining us and hanging in there. And 
you know, we'll get back to normal here someday, our new normal. If you have any questions, just give us a call or send us a private message. I hope everybody has a fabulous night. Good night. Yeah.